So let's go ahead and take the start position here. So say we want the position to start here for the camera, but we also want, we'll turn the visibility on, um, but we also want it to go from a starting point and then move to another spot. So let's say we do it this way. We'll say we want start position here, but we want the camera to end here before things get started. If we go into our start position uh, setting properties here, you'll notice that you have the option to enable. So if this is turned off, the start position won't enable. There is a move to target, so our target right here. Um, there's only one target available uh, right now. It's not capped to one target, so if you put multiple in, it's just going to use the first target that you have. You have a uh, time move to target, so we're saying it's going to take a second, and then time delay before it gets started. So you could say, wait here for four or five seconds and do something, and then start moving it over to here. Um, an ease type, again, so if you wanted to have an ease in uh, value to as it transitions across. And the other option is that you can pause the active player or all players inside the scene so that as it's moving across, we have to wait before we get to play on it. All right, so we'll do it this way and then we'll set up our move to target. Let's go ahead and set this to about two seconds. All right, so now when we play, we'll have a one second delay and then it'll start to move and then it goes to here and now our player can move across. All right, so a simple one, but a good a uh, good system just to start each level and to be able to have a little bit of a, a position placement plus movement if it needs to be before things get started.